this phase two site investigation for Hinkley um, C nuclear power station um, is the first investigation of its type for a new nuclear build in the UK in recent years. Um, so this is a, a big step forward for the site investigation industry as a whole in the UK because we're having to deal with the very stringent requirements of health and safety and quality in the 21st century. Uh, this project is uh, of a major importance for, uh, for EDF. The project is a development of the two units, uh, two EPR units uh, here in Inkley Point. Uh, this is uh, a big commitment from EDF in the, in the UK, a uh, new redevelopment of, uh, for, the, for the nuclear energy. Uh, for EDF in Inkley, it's the first of uh, this new uh, series. And for that, we need also to, to have a quite good and comprehensive knowledge about how this is going on on this, on this land. And that's why we are handling as, uh, as soon as possible this uh, big uh, kind of insight investigation uh, with structural soil. So the investigation is comprised um, a whole series of, of boreholes which extend to depths of, of up to 100 metres. Um, a lot of in situ testing, such as packer testing, um, which is a, a form of permeability testing, and the main are pressure meter testing, high pressure diatometer testing. Um, We've been installing piezometers and, and other groundwater monitoring apparatus into boreholes. Uh, we've been collecting samples of soils and rocks for, for laboratory testing, that's both geotechnical testing and for contamination analysis. This phase is bigger than phase one, and the number of uh, meterage we drilled so far is almost two times what we drilled last year. Uh, last year we drilled a total of about two kilometer. This time we drilled so far about 3.5, maybe four kilometer, of course. So. And also the number of testings required this phase. We have done two times what we've done last year. At Hinkley we've got dilatometer testing, uh, which is carried out by a Swiss company called Sol Experts. We've got Maynard pressure meter testing, which is carried out by a French company called Geotech. Uh, we've also got geophysical surveys of the entire site, including electromagnetic surveys, resistivity lines and seismic lines. These are all carried out by Teradat. Teradat will also be doing some cross-hole, downhole and uphole seismic testing in some borehole arrays towards the end of the project. We've got a large pumping test which will uh, take about 15 days continuous. We've also got packer testing which is performed in-house so Structural Soils owns all the specialised equipment for that. Hinkley Point is unique for structural soils because it encompasses um, a variety of geo-environmental issues so from your standard contaminated land and groundwater through to the more unusual potential for radiation, potential for asbestos, uh, elevated natural gases that we might encounter during drilling, aqua protection measures uh, through various aquifers on site, so between an upper and a, and a lower aquifer, which is a bit unusual, and also controlling all drilling water and flush that comes from the hole. Because of the contaminated land side of things, we needed to control all the drilling water. So all the holes that are drilled with water flush, we've had to contain everything that comes out of the hole in um, IBC, so big meter cubed water storage containers. And then that has all had to be documented and scanned for radiation and then tested so that we were able to dispose of it in line with regulations and safely. Um, and it's been, it's been quite a challenge for us. We've had over a thousand IVCs on site, so keeping track of how many we've got, which borehole they've come from, what testing's been done, where they need to go, can they be disposed of on site or off site. It's been, been quite a big logistical challenge for us. For anything up to a one and a half metre core run, uh, we were collecting maybe seven to ten IBCs. So that's yeah, seven, seven to ten thousand litres of water for every core of uh, one point five metres. So it is, it has been very challenging, um, and the, the the sheer quantity of water we've been using has been uh, yeah, incredible.
This job has been very challenging right from, from the outset. We've had um, the, the, um, the, the technical requirements on us are very, very stringent. Um, the, the health and safety um, requirements have been policed very rigorously. So we've had a lot of thrown at us during the course of the investigation, the weather and, and, and all the sort of checks and balances that are, that are put onto us. Uh, but I think we've, we've coped with it very well. We've got a very good team of, of staff here. Really, it, it breaks down into four principal areas. Site investigations for um, the proposed substation, the proposed sea defence wall, the main site investigations on the nuclear licence site, and also similar site investigations on the land adjacent to the nuclear licence site. And since November, we've gone through a, a development really with the structural soils and uh, enhancement program, basically working together to improve the health and safety performance and the working environment for the drilling crews out on the site. And we're very pleased with the, the response from the company as it's been about their approach and improving safety culture. What we have in place is drilling crews that are very open and honest and happy to report issues with their, their procedures, with their equipment, and with their work environment and we've got a really good working relationship with the structural soils engineers and supervisors who are also happy to share with us their concerns and issues so that we can bring them to a resolution and that's a really open and mature approach between a contract company and a client where you share the issues and jointly resolve them. The work handled by uh, Structural Soil uh, and uh, on our, our project, our scheme, uh, that came in the very early ages. Uh, that's uh, very um, important for us also to, to, to put in place the preparation of the site because uh, at the end of the day we are talking about millions and millions of cubic meters to be removed from one place to another place. The main aim in order to be able not to uh, import or to export uh, too much material because then we can have uh, major problems with the environment of, of with uh, economic aspects or traffic or whatever, then is to reuse this material as much as possible on the site. And to be able to do that, we need to have a very good knowledge about uh, what's under, the, under the, the level of the soil. It's nice to be part of these big prestigious contracts. You're in the same place every day and it's, every day is different you know there's certain tasks you do all the same time but you know there's problems every day you're not doing the one thing all the time but you know there's a really good sort of ethic about the place you know good sort of mood you generally everybody's in the same boat we're all getting wet at the same time we're all getting dirty we're all getting cold hot all at the same time so you know it brings you all together and you know it's, it's nice to be a part of something that's sort of growing and changing all the time in pulling together this contract and how we want to undertake it, we've, we've looked to the RSK group for certain skills, skills that we don't possess within structural soils. Um, the primary example of that would be RSK Radiological. The people within that organisation have helped us to um, pull together the necessary people with the skills to help us carry out the radiological protection, which has been a requirement of the investigation. Um, probably 70% of the work on this site is within the nuclear licensed area and as a result of that there was always the potential for radiological contamination. Fortunately we haven't found any but we have to be, we have to have this sort of measures in place, the health physics technicians, the method statements etc. As well as that, um, the Envirolab uh, capabilities for chemical testing, we've been able to utilise that. This project is actually is the biggest project ever structural soil have done uh, in its history and um, I believe it's uh, also it's the biggest site investigation project uh, at the moment in this country so it means a lot to structural soil and RSK. Um, the value of, of, of the work um, and the number of people involved, uh, number of, of, of testing involved, it's make it the uh, one of the best work I think structural soil have ever done in history.